are gone. And, and honey, you know you can't dance with them tight jeans on. If you try to cop a dip, you trip, slip, and fall. Walking so for the cool, cool baby. Put on a camisole. Chowanigi title screen. Unleash the dogs of war. It is time to go forklift racing. I'm creating a backup save here, I hope you are aware. And the reason why I'm keeping a backup save is in case I never get first place. I really want to get that trophy for getting first place at least once. Uh, I hope you liked the whole music. That was The Walk by the time. Believe it or not, there's still like nearly another five minutes left of that song after the military roll call. But hey, we've got a cutscene. I really don't remember there being as many cutscenes for this here mystic guff, but apparently so. Well, that was a fascinating dream. Master Chen and the Mad Angels are rivals. Where are the Mad Angels? Well, I've got a feeling we're going to be visiting uh, Master Chen this time. I'll have to make a call on my lunch break to make sure I can go meet him. And maybe he can identify that Chinese scroll. All right, intensity. Hold on to your fucking dicks. Good morning, everyone. Morning. Good morning, Mark. Time for a daily warm-up race. You all do your best now. Yeah. 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 Like always, three laps to the finish. Everybody ready? Yeah. Yeah. On your mark. Almost time to go. Who says this? No one on earth has ever counted down like that. Up of a mark. Ready? Go! Oh, Butt Rock's fucking hot though. You motherfuckers. I'm gonna win. This time. I'm gonna be the best. Oh, you fucking cunt. No, you won't. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. It literally corners like a fucking forklift. I do not know how I'm supposed to get good at this. But the pumpy music makes me want to do well, you know? How can I not be excited? 
You fucking bastard. How did I ever come first in this? It like controls like such a turd. Oh, if I knew the course better, maybe I'd be alright. There is a map, but like, I mean, looking at a paper map when you're driving a forklift, it's as fun as it sounds. The race is lists of forks. The race will is my quest. Avenge my father's death as well. On. Tenuous lurks? That's the actual lurks. Yeah, motherfucker, you know it's on. Yeah, motherfucker, it's Megatron. Oh, fuck me, it's so hard to take that at any speed. I'm gonna really feel like I've earned this trophy when I finally get it, you know. Way harder than buying, like, loads of toys, let me tell you. Buying loads of toys is a joy, a constant joy. Except we get the same one. But, this year is fucking... I'm terrible at it. Like, what? Third? Finish! Yeah, these riffs are fucking hot. Oh man, poppin'. so close, you almost had it. Hey, well, let's left patronizing this time. Thanks. All right, forklift number three. We're hitting the big time now. It's time for work. Let's get cracking. I wonder if it's a good idea to get his fucking adrenaline up so high, I'm you ready. know. You got to take this cargo to warehouse number three. Here's the map. Don't forget the quota. No problem. Okay. Good luck. Oh, did anybody see the quota there? I did not see the quota. Yeah, I think I done better that time, but like I'm nowhere near it first. And I want to be the very best, like no one ever was. Okay, uh, three is... Looks like it's quite a bit away. So it's around here. Oh no, there's a jogging prick. Look at all these dicks. I'd fucking ruin my day. Like, this is probably what it's like when I was showing up at the dock all these other times. Fuck my ass, this is like control on a total turd. It's so terrible to control, it's hard to explain. I think this might be the best way out to three. There's one. I think they showed it as being around the back, didn't they? No, it's not looking like it's around the back at all. Looks like I just wasted my time. Four, nine, three. Oh no, that's it. Where's three? I broke into three once, didn't I? There's three. Ugh. Right. Let's get it in the shittiest fucking position first.
fuck off out of my way. Some of us have a job to do. I work at the dock. Ah, You're such a dick. Fuck your family. Uh, oh shit, have I gone to the wrong place? Oh, I'm never making my quota. I'm gonna get fuck all pay. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus Christ. Where the fuck did I throw those boxes? Ah, here. You know what? I think it's faster around this way, maybe. Because it's a big straight line. But you mark you and he gave me the wrong directions, the prick. Well, I've done better at that last race, yeah, because I think I, like, you know, it was really bad, let's just put it that way. Yeah, you better back up, son. completely the wrong path. Dun. Don't know how you get the honking with the horn. Ooh, if I head up. That's sweet. Now I can't get any musical honking going on. So I have to do this to what time of day? Does anybody remember? Is it like 12, literally? Because I'm only going to get three boxes at this rate. I guess I dicked about too much. Maybe they don't want me earning too much, you know? Maybe they were like, oh, this kid's going to clean us out. So I'm going right on the way out. Bit of a sloppy job. Wrong way again. Isn't it? Yeah, that's the way out, isn't it? Does it just look funny from this angle? It looks funny from this angle, what's the problem? <laughs> Sad pig and dog, you remember that? Huh? <laughs> I like the multiple interpretations of sad pig and dog, you know. It was a flexible drawing suggestion. Some might say it was written by a genius. Me, you used to work in the dark. Looking for sailors, sucking and cocky stuff. Out of the fucking way, mate. I think it's okay. They were definitely too hot for TV. It's probably a good thing we weren't ever live streaming that. <laughs> that would have been uh, spicy. Oh, that's the wrong way. Right, right then, right. That should be like so easy to remember. Jesus and pals, too hot for TV. I've got four, and I'm wondering what my quota was. Was it about eight or something? Don't know if I'm gonna make it back in time. 
funny, time crawls every single hour this day in this game, except when you're forklift racing and wanting to meet a quota, but then I've got the second half of the day, so... Here, briefcase, get the fuck. Getting back in time. Yep. Lunchtime, eh? Lunchtime, eh? Very memorable scene. Can I talk to them about Mad Angels, maybe? Mark. Hey, Dio. Yeah. How you like liking work? It's okay, I suppose. Well, I expect a lot from you, Dio. Right. I'll do my best. Uh. Dio, you got any brothers or sisters? You've no. already asked me this. I don't really have a family anymore. Oh, sorry to hear that. So my current theory is that Rio is the Immaculate Conception. Or Goro. Oh, I'll have to talk to Goro for Louise. Goro. What's going, bro? You know about the Mad Angels? Oh uh, yeah, oh yeah. Why are you shouting? Don't you know? Why not? Just be. See you chat. around. You would have been sad if I'd not talked to Goro, be honest. Well, what's the fucking number? It should really, like... the fucking phone number you pricks 61564 I should really remember that I think I say this right rule every time. He's fine to know who he is. Azuki, what are you doing? I understand. Hmm. If you need to talk, get over here now. Sure. <laughs> well, that was a weird out of context conversation, but sure, why not? So, we're not leaving the docks. Let's go and try and see Master Chen. You can look at this scroll, and apparently they may know about the mad, right, uh, mad angels. Apparently they're rivals to each other. We'll not talk to that homeless fuck, even if he t like taught us a sweet move of how to evade. There's Tom. What a prick. Let me in, fuck features. Uh, I need to go to warehouse number eight. I have an appointment with Master Chen. What's your name? Dio Hazuki. I've been expecting you, sir. 
Please, <laughs> go on in. So it's warehouse number 8, isn't it? Which is, uh, somewhere? There we are. Mind if I ask you something? What is it? Could you translate this for me? A Chinese martial arts scroll. Oh. The stab armor is a palm blow that utilizes the body's power. Take one step forward and two steps back, and then tense your limbs. The resulting impact is capable of penetrating armor. Powerful enough to fell a fierce tiger in one hit. <laughs> it's a different style from mine, so it's not clear. But if you remember what I read while practicing, perhaps you could master it. Really? I have work to do. Thanks. Sorry to bother you. Well, I'm actually wanting to speak to his dad. Uh, I need to meet Master Chen. What's your name? Dio Hazuki. As far as I know, Master Chen is not expecting you. I'm afraid I can't let you in. What? I literally just had an appointment, like... Maybe I left my wallet there, you fuck. Let's talk to Tom, that's always a Tom. nightmare. Hi, Dio! I've got something to ask you. Do you know anything about the Mad Angels? Ryo? You in trouble with them? Nope. I'm just trying to find out about them. No man! Do not go and get mixed up with them! They're killers! Tom, about the Mad Angels? They are very dangerous, man! Really? <laughs> really? He sounds convinced. Well, Tom, again, fuck all use. Maybe we'll not find out something till after work. But what kind of people know about my Excuse angels? me, what do you want? I want to ask about the Mad Angels. Oh no, don't do that. I don't have anything to do with them. <laughs> I see. Thanks. Well, that was enlightening, of course. Oh, it is. With Goro. Well, I said better. What about Excuse this guy? Me. What do you want? About the mad angels? Now, how am I supposed to know about stuff like that? Give me a break. I have nothing to do with them. I see. Well, didn't need to be a red ball sock. Um, huh? Do you know th they're that gang that hangs around the harbor, right? Oh yeah. And if you cross them, uh, you'll end up at the bottom of the sea in concrete boots. Oh, so what about them? Nothing. I just, excuse me. <laughs> Back to work. I guess. Warehouse number three. Okay. Well, getting clues to track down these mad angels isn't going so easy. Movie Master Chen comes back in the evenings. However, what is my quota? It crates. That is fucking easy. I am definitely making that. Now, if I exceed this quota, do I get another raise? In the end, am I gonna own the dock? Maybe I could like buy the Mad Angels, have them avenge my father, and I can just sit at home with capsule toys. That's the dream. That's living the dream. Hooray! 
Oh, and I've got to remember I can stack these and I think it still counts as financial reward. Ah, I forgot to leave this on the thing where I can see your comments. Oh, they're not loading for some reason. This keeps happening to me with this here, uh, where the comments don't load properly. So sorry, I'm not ignoring you, so... I haven't won the Saturn game yet. That is going to be something I'll be spending uh, all the copious cash I'll be raking in on. But, oh, uh, I should have went for that one on the ground. And don't worry, I will be getting that Saturn game. That is something you don't get an achievement for it or anything. It's just more just to show it off. That, and I don't know if you ever done it yourself, did you? I'm sure you've always wanted to see the 1980s Saturn being used. It is literally just the two arcade games you can win, but that's still cool, you know? Hey, those guys know about Mad Angels. But here I am, working like a chump instead. I am a worker at the harbour. It is got to be watching me for hours on end buy those candies until finally the god of luck smiles upon me. That's the only thing to worry you. So if I'm doing it on stream then god help me. And indeed, god help us all. Oh, didn't get that right. And away we go. Look at that prick. He's interfering with the job. I bet he's interfering with kids as well. Final Fantasy 6 out there, oh, well it, you had to just do the 255 battles, like, okay, just is a very mild way of saying that you have to do 255 fucking battles, uh, for the Cursed Shield equipped to get the Paladin Shield, uh, um, let me see, raffle tickets compared to that, I'm not sure, that's alright, because I like Final Fantasy VI music and the battles are quite quick. Listening to the same voice sample over and over again is really annoying after a while, like the Oh, sorry, you didn't win. <laughs> then buying the same item, because you have to like, really slowly scroll over. Or at least Final Fantasy, you're kind of just walking back and forth, and then doing the same two things over and over again. So you can like put on music, or like nowadays you could put on podcasts or whatever and do it. Whereas, uh... One of the worst ones I ever had to do was definitely dodging 200 bolts of lightning in Final Fantasy X. That was fucking incredibly tedious. Uh, not only did you have to keep alert the whole time to like avoid, but it was just like running back and forth in the same screen. Hoping that your reactions didn't slip until you dodged 200 bolts of lightning in a row. That was madness. Why did I ever do that? For like a weapon for Lulu that I'm pretty sure was never going to be used. Um, worse than that, their uh, shield drop in Final Fantasy VI, Louise, is actually in Final Fantasy IV. There is an item that it's called like the Rat's Tail, and it only drops by fighting these here like pink flan type enemies. I can't remember the name, it's like a really inoffensive name, but basically I must have been fighting them for at least six hours. There was another thing in Earthbound, I remember, like a rare drop. You didn't need either of these either way. Both of them, like in Final Fantasy IV's case, you got like super armor. 
I mean Final Fantasy uh, sorry in Earthbound's case it was like to get this sword character for one character that never normally used the sword that made him like really overpowered but both of them weren't really necessary and it meant that I was like very overpowered for the last parts of the game that was definitely the definition of no fun look at that prick strolling along there fucking crashed my forklift as a result of him Look at this shit show. Oh no! Hey, look! It's Schoolboy! You guys, what the hell are you doing here? Children shouldn't play around with forklifts. You might get hurt, you know? <laughs> hey! Move it. Don't fuck with the merchandise. You heard us? You're fired! Oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> nice taxi you got here! Take me on home, okay? Get a move on! Whatever. <laughs> hey, cut it out! Joke's on you, schoolboy! That's it. You're mine. It's showtime! This could be tricky. Kick their asses. Oh no! You look like proper mod angels. I can't remember how I was doing that funky dodge before. Kick their asses anyway. Uh, oh man! <laughs> Help me! Where are the mad angels? Those guys are at the back of warehouse number seventeen. Number seventeen? Yeah, at the back of the warehouse. You lying? <laughs> if you don't believe me, go see for yourself. <coughs> oh. I like the way he drove back here. That didn't take a lot of time out of his day. That's kind of amusing. Ooh, it's gotten a bit overcast by the looks of things. So that was a fun encounter. Got to beat the shit out of those guys. All in a day's work. Literally. For real.
like I'm acting like I'm some sort of forklift god when it comes to things at the moment, but I'll guarantee I'll still lose the race. Like I said, that's why I made a backup save. I think as long as you do it once, the game will give you the truth. But it's about to hit 5 o'clock. I don't think I'll be getting any more boxes dying. Well, it should still be a decent amount of money. I guess we'll be going to the back of our house Finish to for the day. Okay, good job. Here's today's pay. Thanks. You met quota, son. So starting tomorrow, you'll get a 50 yen raise. That'll All right. be 400 yen per crate. Thank you. Keep up the good work. Big bucks for Rio, no? Yes, thank you very much. That guy in the background is saying, smash communism. Well, we're in the money. But hey, what's this about the back of Warehouse 17? Did that go in our diary? That worked out rather well. In truth, I don't know how else I was to get clues. I'm wondering about some of those moves, by the way. Sweet. That one's also kind of cool. Dark side Hazuki. So we've got the shadow step, okay. And that other move I got. It doesn't seem... According to Guizan, it's a hand move. Ah, I had to look at it first. Style of armor, forward, back, back, score an axe. Okay. That'll be sweet. Uh oh. Oh no! Mark! You again? Damn this fucking right. You're dead. Oh. I beg to differ, sir. You are next. Ah, oh, fuck, I want to pull that off. Nobody's letting me hit them with it for some reason. Oh, you're eating this. There we go. Ah, oh, god damn it. Maybe I should just kick your ass, huh? Oh. Jesus Christ. Oh, I see. Now I've got to fight this guy. Crit. Yeah. 
Ah, god damn it. I don't know if it'll be as interactive as like the game was with the house in this one, not unless it's like a fixed location. Um but to be honest, you I could see it taking a lot of inspiration from the Yakuza series, because essentially the Yakuza series is this here smoothed out, and if they had like three games worth they were supposed to be like building up or removing at this stage, like maybe it'll just be like a case of Oh shit. Like them using like the Yakuza like slightly more linear but then also having the jobs, but just so that they can fit a lot of plot into it. But uh I can't imagine it being massively different except just controlling better and maybe having more quality of life things like the ability to, you know, uh, the ability to advance the time of day a little more easily and such. Oh, nice. None of these fuckers are going down this one. Okay, that one's gone. Oh, nice! That was awesome. Yeah, like, uh, we won't forget this. I'm pretty sure in uh, Yakuza there's like loads of food shops and stuff Mark, like that, okay? at least in some of them, so I'm hoping oh, just like they do yeah, stuff like that. I'm all right. No problem. Oh, oh, oh Mark. Careful. So, looking for your brother. Yeah, my only brother. He's about your age. But now, he's probably at the bottom of the sea. Oh my god. Killed by the mad angels. Why would the mad angels kill your brother? It appears he may have leaked some important information. About being mad. Is that why... And angelic. Probably. At least as far as I can tell, only one person was killed. So you're not sure? Was the guy who heard the information killed? Or my brother, the one who leaked it? Oh yeah, Dill. I heard the information was about a black market deal. With some Chinese cartel. A Chinese cartel? The GU men. Well, I've got a feeling that's all I'm going to learn today. I could be wrong. But hey, this looks like it's Warehouse 17 direction, doesn't it? Excuse me. What do you need? Have you ever seen any of the Mad Angels? The Mad Angels? I've never seen them. I heard that they gather over near the harbor cafeteria at night. I see. Hey, near the harbor cafeteria? 
Well, this is behind War High 17, so... Maybe he knows about Mad Angels. Um, I have something to ask you. I'm on patrol now. Ask another security guard. Is that so? <laughs> is that so? <laughs> oh dear, Rio. You're like a blithering simpleton. Now we're gonna get a wee day night transition. Which could be perfect for this area. There's a lot about uh, the soundtrack to Deadly Premonition that reminds me of the soundtrack to this game as well. Like it just feels like a uh, Dreamcast game. God, I really, really wish the Deadly Premonition was re-released without all the bugginess on the PS4. The PS3 version had more content and it was better to play, but at the same time it had intense slowdown for unknown reasons. Excuse the PC me. version's literally unplayable. I'm really and that leaves the 361. The else, will you? And gotcha. the 361 Thanks. looks like literal ass and also plays like a turd in places. Like, I would argue that Deadly Premonition is Shenmue's Shenmue. If that makes any sense whatsoever, I'm pretty sure it doesn't. Hey, so I heard near the cafeteria at night there would be mod angels. Here are you using mod? Are you the angels too? Hey, Mark. Mark, have you seen any of the mad angels? No, sure haven't. All right. Well, they we're kicking your ass a few hours ago, but hey, no biggie, right? Oh, here we go. Something's going on here. Guess that clue I got was right. I got stab armor. It shifts. <sighs> ha! <laughs> you never know when to give up, do you? What do you want? I'm here to teach you a new move. <laughs> like that'll be real helpful. Actually, it you will couldn't be even handle helpful. the Mad Angels, much less take on Landy. Shut up! Look, I don't need your help. Hey, fine by me, but it's wise to accept the goodwill of others. So, what will it be? You are mine or not? Uh, your goodwill or the move? Let's accept. Well, if you're so eager to teach me, okay. You could be more appreciative. First, I'll show you the form. Watch. One step back, shift your weight. While backing up, kick! This is called a swallow dive. <laughs> now you try it. Try the swallow dive for me. That's the swallow dive you done. Hmm. That's fine. I see you've learned the basic form. I've got it now. You've yet to master the move. Perhaps you should practice more. I'll try to be a bit more. Yeah, please. I'll watch. So give it a try. Watch me do the swallow form. Swallowing like a kick. I think kick that's enough. Back Still want swallow. to continue? You're right, it's enough. No, that's enough. Keep in mind, you've only learned the basic form. To properly utilize this move, you'll need to practice. Yes. And apply diligent training. Right, right. I think I probably should be practicing the fighting more because I think your moves like do level up a bit like as you've seen on the list but I don't think I've ever really bothered mastering them in any playthrough you know Ooh, this is looking promising why teach me that move you're intent on going to Hong Kong right yeah even knowing that 
You may die. Well, my dad no died. What? So I thought. If I were you, I'd do the same. That's why. Well, that was... that was deep. No mention of the fact that he taught me a move. Oh well. Still. He's not a mad angel. And... Hey, mister. Oh. oh, it's you, youngin. You been training? Yeah. That's great. Now then, I can show you how to use it. Oh, gee, be careful. Use it? The shadow step move? It's rather hard to do, so I'll only do it once, so pay attention. Before, I just showed you how to slide behind your opponent. Once you're behind your opponent, strike the back of the neck. An unprotected neck's weaker than you'd expect. Uh -huh, that sounds pretty weak to me. An accurate strike can paralyze. Strike just after sliding past your opponent. If you practice, you'll get it. I understand. Thank you. It sounds fairly dangerous, doesn't it? But hey, I was promised... Mad Angels near the cafeteria. Oh, it's closed. They're of already course. closed. Well, maybe this will be something to find tomorrow. I suppose I should get the bus home. Inisan will be worried, as Rio will remind us shortly. We can't be having that, can we? And now to awkwardly attempt to get on the bus with the worst controls on Earth. Oh, Rio, would you just... I got only like the slightest touch left or right he moves that much. And now he's like at a funny angle. Mad angles. Bus should be here any second there, right? It's right on time. And we can definitely afford the bus nowadays, right guys? We can be big spenders. Not since we bought that train ticket have we been so flush. Still, I wonder how we can now bump in the Megumi, because we're always at work during the day. It's not really like we can go at lunchtime, is it? I want to know the cat's definitely okay, you know? Hey, is the shop closed? Oh, it closes at 9? Son of a bitch, Still I should have went open. to Tomato Mart. Hey, what's 
see you did hanging about there. That's a little suspicious. Probably should have talked to him, but... Don't know about you guys, but... Oh, Tom's here. Tom. The all. If there is anything... Sure. <laughs> yeah. A voice. We got some purchase in the day. Oh no, this is the one that says the mental thing that makes no sense. Yo, may I help you? This. Draw a ticket, please. No prize. Especially since you bought merchandise. Like, what does that mean? No prize, especially since you bought merchandise. What's that mean? Like, on no part of Earth does that make sense. It's not just the fact that this is Shenmue that that Yo, doesn't make may sense. I help you? Absolute yes. madness. Especially since you bought merchandise. No prize, especially since you bought merchandise. What? Draw a ticket, please. What does that mean? No prize. Especially since you bought merchandise. What does that mean? Yo, may I help you? Yes. Draw a ticket, please. No prize. Nah, Especially not one the Saturn game more. Hoping to. Oh, bang. back off, BK. Yo, may I help you? Yes. I wish you would just sell me lotto tickets. Draw a ticket, please. No prize. Especially since you bought merchandise. Like fucking hell, that, that... That confuses me so much. And then without their... Music punctuating it, it's like it's designed to drive you mad. Yo, may I help you? This. Draw a ticket, please. Gotta win. Come on. No prize. Come on. Especially since you bought merchandise. Yo, may I help you? Yes. I hope you're all hearing this in your dreams. Draw a ticket, please. Oh, you know that's a band I've never listened to. No as well, prize. especially since you bought merchandise. I should probably give them a go. It's never too late, especially when you got Apple Music or Spotify or whatever, and you can just fucking play just about anything. Yo, may I help you? This is kind of crazy. Draw a ticket, please. No prize. Especially since you bought merchandise. It's maddening. Maddening, I tell you. Oh, I don't want to look at her. No, nobody cares about you, love. It's all about trying to win a Sega Saturn game. Yo, 
May I help you? This. Draw a ticket, please. I won. Oh, yeah. Take oh, third? Pick. No, it's only a music tip, huh? Oh, that's awesome. Okay, this one. Sure. There you go. Okay, it's not quite the prize you were looking for, but it's a better quality of prize, right? Come again, y'all. Yo, may I help you? Please. Fifth prize. The prize is inside the capsule. <laughs> That's two prizes in a row, just kind of unfortunate that being not what we were looking for. Until I get a ghetto blaster, I can't even listen to a tape at home. I have to like hijack Tom's radio to do it. As far as I'm aware, Louise, uh, no prize. it's like between two different snack foods Especially since you that always get you a ticket so that's why I'm just focusing on the caramel because I know it works but I think it's like just entirely random I don't think you like either snack gets you a preference Yo, may I help you? This. Draw a ticket please Seven game. I won. Hey, I got another cassette. My luck's going pick. up. Okay, this one. Sure. There you go. Come again, yo. Ine-san will be worried. I should go home soon. No. Oh. Practice the uh, swallow dive, shall we? I've only got two. Oh no, I've got a stack of cassettes left. Probably about ten or so. This could be the daily drifter for a plot reveals here. Hold on your dick. Good morning everyone! Morning! Time for a daily warm-up race. You all do your best now. Yeah! yeah. Like yeah. always, three laps to the finish. Everybody ready? <laughs> yeah. He's trying to imply I need check myself for Almost time to go. On your marks, almost time to go. Ready, go. Ready. Who counts like that? Go. What maniac? What what drugs did you take for? Fucking fourth lift race. 
motherfucking fuck these trees. I got bodied by those cunts there. Right, still in it. Still anyone's wreath. Please support me, please. You fucker! You absolute fucking ballsack! The riffs are almost too heavy, too crushing, Andrew. Uh, pulverizing riffs. Ah, oh, you fucking dick! You done it again. Ah, oh, shit. You can see there was mana war controversy at the uh, health fest. Apparently they didn't show up, or they did show up, but like something to do with sound check. And they claimed it was the fault of the organizers, and of course everybody's like, it's probably your fault, mana war user dicks. Gym, but I was usually doing cardio stuff, so it was maybe not anything as heavy as this. <laughs> you fuck it and see if you push me into the wall, you be dick. You fucking dick rush. Right, I need to not get bodied by these guys on the first lap because as soon as one of them knocks me off course, like if I get stuck in a the wall, there's no way I can get first place. You see, you fucking dick. You fucking dick, you cheaty wee cunt. Cheaty cunt rash. That's your name. Aggressive forklift racing? Like, that should be a foul. You fucking cheater! Cheater, cheater, compulsive eater. Finish. Wanker. Fucking wanky dick rash. You fucking fuck. I hate you. Oh man, so close, you almost had it. Yeah, cause till the guy Here's cheated. Yeah, Thanks. I've got this one. I don't want it anymore. It's time for work. Let's get cracking. Oh god. I'm ready. Take this cargo to warehouse number 18. <laughs> Here's the route map. Today's quote is written on the map. No problem. Okay, get to it then. Oh, what warehouse was that? It's like warehouse number 18. Okay, I can do that. Here, where am I actually? I'm at... Oh, I'm behind those, right? That's a weird fucking place to pick me. I don't think it should be too hard to get to though. I'm not gonna do the fucking loop that they're suggesting anyway. I think I should make the quota okay again. When you got it split over two different things, it's not that bad. This is number 18. Oh, there's quite a few boxes I can get in here. I like that sound when you crash, like, wah! Oh shit. Oh 
I'm driving like a total dick rush. Can you believe those guys fucking cheating at the race though? Like that's shocking. It's not very competitive. Silent Lucidity? Is that a song by... by them? Is it one of these ones that I'm just gonna like have recognized from the venue or something like that? Oh, wrong way. I don't want to go that way. It's far too fucking awkward to drive. And even if it is technically good to get it for the race, it's still fidgety as fuck. That's two so far. I should get about halfway to my quota before the end of lunch break, I think. If dickheads don't get in my way. I think I just walked around the dock with his briefcase out. Oh wow, I made him back up into the other guy, sweet. Oh, maybe I can get people to move out of the way by doing that. Probably not. Three, okay. Can hopefully get another two done in the next hour. That's more than half the quota then. That was Goru, our favourite. So, uh, ten points to whichever house of your choice, if you can name what species Goro was in Mortal Kombat without Googling it. It's a pretty tough question though, like, I mean, unless you're a Mortal Kombat nerd, you're not getting that one. But since we just drove past a Goro, I figured I might as well throw that out there. <laughs> ah, prick. He should have been totally bodied there. No, you're right, he is indeed a Shokin warrior. He is of the Shokin people. All his Goro. Can you name the two other Shokins in the series? There's one in Mortal Kombat 2 and a playable one in Mortal Kombat 3. Goro was also playable in the Game Boy port of the original Mortal Kombat with a cheat. And Goro was also playable in... Well, he showed up in Mortal Kombat 4 on the home console ports only. And Goro also was in... Well, the Mortal Kombat reboot, Mortal Kombat 9. And he was also playable as a DLC only character in Mortal Kombat 10. Which always kind of annoyed me because, well, I didn't get the DLC. I only picked up one of them and then Keelan lost my copy. Thanks, Keelan. I might just make this back. 
Sorry, I'm too intensely forklift racing to look at answers right now. Let me see. Mutaro was not a Shokin, he was a Centaur. I think they had a Chenny name, but I can't remember what. Kintaro and Shiva, that is correct, yep. Shiva was the playable one in Mortal Kombat 3, and Kintaro was the Tiger Strike boss in Mortal Kombat 2. And he was fucking really hard. Hard as fucking nails. Kintaro would beat your Balkson. I think he was actually harder than Motaro. I have a feeling that uh, Motaro, uh, the species wasn't just called something like the, it wasn't just like Centaurs, I think they had another name. I just remember they were also the sworn enemies of the Shokin. And they'd never been mentioned until Mortal Kombat 3, of course. Oh, yeah, 10 points to whatever heights you're in. Nice Not Gryffindor, I assume. Slytherin, I guess. Sitting on the dock of the bay, watching the tide rolling in. Yo! Let me take a picture of you two. No, that's okay. Don't be shy. Stand there. Here we go. Both of you get in closer. Smile. That's it. Here goes. I like it. Rio's passion filled face. Which do you want? Yo? We'll go for the one with her close to us, shall we? When I act like, uh, you know, at once, okay, Rio felt this like. This one's yours, and this one's Nozomi's. Aww. She'd far rather have that. There, although I'm surely. What's Did we do her? the wrong thing there? Should she have the photo office closer I, together? I'm going to Canada. Hong Kong, what? Hong Kong, bitch. I took a while to decide, but. Hey, if it's what you've decided, it's what you've decided. Yo, don't do anything stupid. Of course I won't. I'll always treasure this. I Yo, really should let her have one. Too. I will. Well, she was close to me. I'll Instead, I've just given her a subliminal message, sure. which is that you and I are moving apart. Bye, then, Rio. And that may make it look like I'm going to be desperately fapping to the photo of me and her close together. Oh, don't act like you've got any feelings, Rio. She's no capsule toy boy. Hey, maybe Mark's got more to tell us. Mark, have you seen any of the Mad Angels? No, sure haven't. All right. Well, there's always Tom. Hero, God, Tom. Honey-san. Honey-san? Have you seen the Mad Angels around here? I saw them near the diner not long ago. You mean the Harbor Lounge? My guess is they gather around here at night. The Harbor Lounge at night. Hey, why doesn't he note that? Surely Tom. that's a clue. Hi, Dio! I've got something to ask you. Do you know where the Mad Angels hang out? I don't know. Rio, I heard a rumor that you are going after the Mad Angels. Was it a rumor? I've got my reasons. Trust me. Or did no I just man, tell you? Do not go and get mixed up with them. <laughs> if you know anything about them, please, Tom, you've got to tell me. Sorry, but I don't know, man. Really? I think we now know Tom's surname is Wizzo. Like a feeling, I love that name.
Oh, can I leave that on? I'm gonna have to get me a fucking ghetto blaster, man, so I can listen to that sweet, sweet music. Can I give Mark the photo? That would be hilarious. I'm not convinced Tom's really black because he didn't mind me touching a stereo either. And no black man would ever allow a white man to do that, or even an Asian man. So, my working theory is that Tom is in fact Tommy was over in disguise, that explains his acting. Hey, look at this photo of me and Nozomi. Oh, you don't give a shit. <laughs> well. What else can we do out in the dock? This guy's never helpful, is he? Got a minute? Huh? Have you seen any of the mad angels around the harbor? Don't get me involved in shit like that! I didn't uh. see shit! Well, he's particularly followed my I didn't remember anybody yeah. swearing in this game. Have you ever seen any of the mad angels? Mad? Well, I don't think I've ever seen them. Sorry, I have no idea. I see. I reckon they're just like an urban legend. Despite the fact that we've seen several. around here. He's definitely a mod angel. He's heading towards their fucking den. Lying to me like that. What a bastard. Would you lie to me? Call me baby. There's Goro, everyone's favourite. I'm not gonna divulge you in uh, any excess of Goro today. He's had enough excitement, I think. I don't want you all coming in your pants. Somebody outside just made the weirdest noise at my window. This one. Yeah, sure. Thank you very much. Sure. Draw a raffle ticket. No win. That's too bad. That's too bad. Ah, uh, it's way more awkward to buy in this shop, you know. Da oh, come on, how am I not buying Dandy, old man? That's fucking classic. I'll take this. Yeah, sure, thank you very much. Sick but cocks. Sure, draw a raffle ticket. Fuck my fucking nuts. Finger up the butt! No win. Ah, oh, fuck. Now go back to work. Bad. It's already this late. Ah, oh, shit. We're gonna get that docked out of our pay. Now leave me a quota. Warehouse number 18. Okay. I like the way Rio reminds us. I can only transport one crate at a time. Oh, suck my dick, Rio. 
Be ambitious. Be the man your father wanted you to be. A real risk taker when it came to shifting boxes. So, this is Shenmue. This is definitive Shenmue right here. Getting small trains of clues in between moving f boxes around with forklifts. This is prime Shenmue. So if people ever ask you, what do you do in Shenmue? You can say, you drive a forklift most of the time. Anything else? Well, you go looking for sailors. Oh, and you go to vending machines. That's a good plan. Yeah, you could so you could like when the girl's ringing it up with a wee bit of sleight of hand, you could definitely do that. Andrew, if you had been in Japan in the 80s, you could have definitely been like hustling all these shops. Is that definite not Mad Angel guy? Mark, get out of the way. Some of us have jobs to do. First person excitement. Is it faster in first person or is it just the illusion of speed? It kind of feels a bit faster but I don't know if it definitely is. God, I feel like a speed king. Should be listening to fucking Deep Purple. I'm like a highway star. There's some way you could like lean out of it on the way past the Goro and go you because you're like driving past them and honking your horn, you know. He does that's shine me three. That's too much excitement. I know scuffles today when I out and about on the forklift. Doesn't look like I'm getting in any fights this time. handling this well until I, I was like becoming the first person forklift master.
Well, it's definitely Makuta. Shit, girl, watch out. Yeah, for some reason, honking on the way past that other truck lift makes them suddenly, like, move backwards. I'm pretty fast at the looks of things, it's weird. Oops. Alright, that's the worst like crate pack in there in the world, but I done it. Ah oh, no. Jogger. Or Yogger. Fucking shit, mate. Ah, oh, you fucking out of the way, dick rushes. Driving like a fucking pro right now, am I not? Sweet, sweet dough this time, like 400 a box. It's still a while off the 5 o'clock. Nobody gonna compliment me on this fucking oh well. I had the crash straight in the wall <laughs> as I tried to look for comments there to say is nobody gonna congratulate me for this expert forklift driving, but uh yeah, spoke too soon I guess. I'm impressed anyway. Take this well. Or that. Oh. 
You fucking dicks. Might just get one more if I'm lucky. My expert forklift racing days are done, I'm afraid. What do you think we're transporting between the two, or the different warehouses? What are we actually doing with these boxes? What's in them? Why are we taking them from just one warehouse to the other? Are they coming off ships? Are they going on the ships? Maybe it's full of mad angels. Oh, that's precarious. That one could come off at any time, Rio. Oh, the day. Pass us. Well, that's true. And I don't think Rio's interested in anything. Not even Nozomi. Okay, good job. Here's today's pay. I'm fucking meant at me. Thanks. You met quota, son. So starting tomorrow, you'll get a 50 yen raise. That'll be 450 yen per crate. How long does this you. keep going? Like, how Keep far? up the good work. Yes, thank you very much. Well, maybe it's time to check out the cafeteria. We've had a couple of hints about that, right? But does it have to specifically be night time? Goro! Everyone's favorite! Goro? What's going bro? Have you seen any of the mad angels around? Whoa, bro! Like I said! Don't you know, right? Ah, bro! Well, I ain't got no choice, I guess! Motorcycles! They ride around the harbor at night! At night, huh? Well, apparently we're gonna be looking for them at night time. Excuse me. Again. Eh? What is it, youngin? Do you happen to know where the mad angels hang out? Why are you looking for them? I hear you've been getting yourself in all sorts of trouble. I really need to know where they are. If you know, please tell me. All right, already. Come back here at night. Here? They always gather around here at night. At night? I understand. Thank you. Don't go doing nothing reckless, you hear? Well... Confirmation, it's near the harbor cafeteria. Well... Let's prioritize things first of all. I'll take this, please. Yeah, sure. Thank you very much. Suck a bunch of cocks. Sure, draw a raffle ticket. Feel the fucking nuts. No win. Oh, fuck off. That's too bad. I'll oh, suck my dick, bitch. Bit aggressive, but you know. I want to win that lottery. This one. Yeah, sure. Thank you very much. Sure, draw a raffle ticket. No win. That's too bad.
I'll take this. Yeah, sure. Thank you very much. I'm still worried about the sure, cop, you know. Like, you don't get a sick day or anything, you know? So, I want to know, like, no win. I just want to confirm that the cat's definitely That's okay. That's too bad. Let's buy Feel Tired song. This one. Yeah, sure. Thank you very much. This is responsible buying. Sure, draw a raffle ticket. No win. That's too bad. Might as well get Harbor Bar. This is a classic. This one. They kind of sold yeah, out at this sure. point though, with Thank Harbor Bar. Much. Used to be about the music. Sure, the bar draw a raffle ticket. They kind of commercialized no it. That's too bad. What Glyphata is, I I'll have take this, no please. idea. Yeah, sure. Thank you very much. Sure, draw a raffle ticket. No win. No prize, eh? Hey, that's different, huh? Well, we've got all the tips, all the sweet chains. I'll take this. Yeah, sure. Thank you very much. Sure, draw a raffle ticket. No win. Oh, Jesus Christ, come on. That's too bad. That's too bad. This one. Yeah, sure. Thank you very much. Sure, draw a raffle ticket. No win. Ah, oh, come on. That's too bad. Well, not having much luck there. However, it's near seven o'clock. Well, hopefully, we're gonna trigger a scene with the mod angels around here at this time. Excuse me. Are you talking to me? Did you see anyone from the Mad Angels? You know, the foreman would know about stuff like that. Okay. Oh, so I should have talked to the foreman. Is that like the George Foreman Grill? Or the foreman of this place? And where did he hang around? Ah, here we go. Cutscene time, baby. <gasps> Long time no see. This is the guy like who's been sniffing around us like a dog. Like a dog? Like we're gonna have to run this straight off now. Oh, I don't know about that fucker. Oh shit. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Got ourselves a sweet hog and I. I'll give you pain, little shit. Oh 
yeah! Oh god damn, I thought I was doing really well there too. Did I redo this scene? Please tell me I just redo Ah, okay. Long time no see. This is the guy who's been sniffing around. I was doing so well though. Except for that Looks last like choice. Have to run this straight off now. Well, it's not that different anyway. Like, I got the first one wrong last time and it didn't really make much of a difference. Look at that sweet ray trace. I'll give you pain, little shit! Oh, yeah. Oh, shit! Oh no. no! I lost them. So I have to take the left and the right there. Okay. Uh, sorry about this, guys. And Trace is just Love too much action. No this is the guy who's been sniffing around us like a dog. Like a dog? Looks like we're gonna have to run this straight off now. I'm gonna get him. Yeah, a bit to the face. I wish I could skip these a bit. Like, at least speed them up, you know? Like, that metal's just too, too sweet. These wrists, too crushing. I'll give you pain. Oh, shit! I'm tall! Oh, wrong direction again, no! Nearly wasn't paying attention there again. Ah, uh, I think we led around in the ambush, Sweet I love. believe. You ain't so bad, punk. Why you? But your time's up. <laughs> you wish. No one takes on the mad angels in this harbor and lives to tell about it. It's the bottom of the sea for you. Sweet. Get him. Goodness. Your little brat, I'm gonna break 
with your face. <laughs> Come on. Oh shit. It's gonna break your fist if you're not careful, are you? Oh shit. Alright, let's not try to find any fancy moves. Let's just try to kick his ass. Fucker. Oh, I lost someone. How are the mad angels and Chi Ming connected? Uh, I, I don't know. What? Wait. I don't know if he's Chi Ming, but there's some Chinese big shot leaving here soon. Big shot? Yeah, they had me arrange a cruiser to take him out to a big ship offshore. What's his name? Uh, I don't know, but I hear he wears some silk robe thing with a dragon on it. <gasps> Landy, he's still around here. Please, I beg you, don't tell anyone I told you. They'll kill me! Well, without exciting revelation. How would we find out about the trade? Um, what do you need? Do you know anything about some deal the Mad Angels are making? The Mad Angels? Snooping around asking about their deals ain't a very bright idea. It's dangerous. You must stop. I see. Well, it sounds like he's connected to those mad angels, if you'd ever ask me. That was a suspicious response, if ever I've heard one. These guys never tell me fuck all since they're on a patrol route. What about Punky Chan over here? I still think he's one of them. Got a minute? Do you know anything about a deal of the Mad Angels? No! <laughs> no! Well, that's good enough for Ryu. Ryu's always asking all the tough questions. This guy might know. Um, what is it? Do you know anything about some deal the Mad Angels are making? A deal? I heard a rumor that something big is set to go down soon. I see. Well, what is set to go down soon? Huh. Maybe I could find out in here. It oh, looks like they're phone. already closed. Well, I got no information from them now. Maybe these guys now. Um, I want to ask you about the Mad Angels. Word among the fishermen is that they're a nasty bunch. Yeah, I guess so. See you. Yeah, that was enlightening. You really helped. Hey, maybe the homeless guy knows. He might know about all sorts of things. Excuse teams. me. Eh? What is it, youngin? About the Mad Angels? I heard a rumor that you're still looking for them. Yes, I am. I heard that they are planning some deal. Do you know about it? The deal? Mm. I did hear something about some large-scale deal happening soon. Well? Have you heard anything else? Well, I don't know none of the details. All right. I should go home. 
<laughs> now is that just a direct hint that I'm not going to learn anything more today that that there encounter that I had there was enough excitement for one day perhaps doesn't look like anyone else is around here he could be right you know I should go home We know there's a big deal that's going to be going down. Maybe that's enough. Maybe she knows. Excuse me. Yes? What is it? Do you know anything about some deal the Mad Angels are making? Hey! Watch what you say! Don't talk about them so loudly! You don't say. Maybe not. Well, I think we've got all the sweet tunes here. Dandy old man being a highlight. I'll take this. Yeah, sure. Thank okay. you very much. It's coming up in two hours since I started playing, so I might call it a night just after midnight here. Sure, draw a raffle ticket. No win. No prize, eh? This isn't going well. Just not having any lotto luck today. Maybe it depends on the day. This one. Yeah, sure. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Sure, draw a raffle ticket. Sure, draw a raffle ticket. No win. Oh, come on. That's too bad. That's too bad. I wonder if buying the crisps wins me a ticket. Hey, Sheena. I'll take this, please. Yeah, sure. Thank you very much. Come on, second prize. All I want, second prize. Not even first prize, sure, second prize. Sure, draw a raffle ticket. No win. Aw, oh, come on. No prize, eh? I'll take this, please. Yeah, sure. Thank you very much. Sure, draw a raffle ticket. No win. Ah, oh, come on. That's come too on. Bad. There's been no prize today at all. What a chip. Might just get the spot in time. This one. Yeah, sure. Thank you very much. Shop closes at ten. She better give me a fucking raffle ticket. Sure, draw a raffle ticket. Come on, be a winner. Please be a winner. No win. Oh no. Try again another time. Looks like they're about to close. Well. That did not work out so well on the old winning front. You know, I'm pretty sure there's nobody around here I'm going to be able to ask about the Mad Angels. Not this time of night. I already had my exciting encounter. And I think you get like one encounter per day if you do it right. Maybe two if there's like a training montage cutscene, but... No. No luck here. I 
Let me go get my boss. Oh hey, she might know about not angels. Excuse me. I'm afraid. Would you come back later? I see. You're afraid of me or you're afraid it's too late to be talking? Oh, the boss should be here any second. Come on, boss. Look at the time. I really should go home early today. I'm trying to get home, Ryu. Where's the fucking boss? Oh shit. Is this like a Saturday or a holiday or something? Saturday, damn it! Wrong boss schedule, god damn it. Now we'll never get that detonation code! Let's just creepily look at her. Excuse me. Excuse me. I don't have time now. I see. You really do. I mean, you're stuck with me till the boss comes, love. Ine-san's gonna give me such a bollock in the name. Alright. Yeah, he's gonna warp home, I think, at this time. I'm in so much trouble with Ine san. That's oh, Tom. Tom. The all! No matter what life throws at you. Sure. Uh, Ryu smile? Can't even get into the shop to buy a tape on time. Oh, the high guy! He's, he's my favorite. Hey man, this. Draw a ticket. No prize. Oh, come on. Bummer. Better luck next time. Oh, that's right, he's on the call for Bummer. Yeah, you do. Oh, I see. Ine-san will be worried. I should go home soon. Okay, I think I'm actually going to call it an evening. It is midnight after all. And now that I've got dinner is cooked the last few nights, I should be fine. Ooh, check it out, drama. Dreaming of Landy. Get going. Yeah.
He works every day of the year. Like it's a Sunday now, Dio's still working. Oh real. Or is he Dio? I mean the game doesn't seem to be able to tell. Let's try one more fourth look for this, shall we? Yeah. Like always, three laps to the finish. Everybody ready? Yeah. No. On your mark. Almost time to go. Ready? Go. Okay. Fucking son of a bitch again. That fucking Trump. Have I ever done a faster lap out of curiosity? I don't think I have. Didn't realize I could actually lower this. Oh no! I'm just lucky enough I might do this. I was a faster lap that time. Come on, USA, USA. Oh, you fucking bastard! You fucking fucker! <laughs> That's so hard! Come on! Finish. That fucker ran me off the road again! Oh man, so close, you almost had it. So fucking close, you're Here's right. You Thanks. I'm never gonna get first, am I? It's time for work. Let's get cracking. Gotcha. Take this cargo to warehouse number 18. Here's the map. Record oh, written on it. No problem. Again, huh? This one's a bit further, so don't get lost. Oh, I see. We're all the way around here, near the Mod Angels Harbor, huh?
This could actually be trickier, this one. First of all, we've got these pricks fucking driving, drive, chugging around here all the time, and then secondly, this is the fastest route this time. Oh, fuck off, out of the way, you cunt. Seems I'm not really bothered by money anymore. That's one. You know, I still think this might be the quicker route around here. Oh, get the fuck out of my way! You fucking cunt! Fuck off! Yeah, you know what? Rather than taking that windy path around, it's too fucking awkward. Let's just take the easiest route. I'm pretty sure I'll still make quota. I just won't get as much money, but I think that's the intention. It's a bit more of a drive, but it is easier than taking that windy path. I would have so had that fucking race in if that guy hadn't shoved me into the wall. I'm so annoyed about that. I nearly had it. I was nearly the king of Shenley Island. I'm also not convinced I'm not just talking to myself now. Is anybody out there in Shenmue land? Yeah, crate still, huh? Yeah, I think I'll just make quota. I'll get like, maybe four this time around, and then another four after this. If I go very fast, I might make five. It was definitely better to go this long way around than to try and take the slightly shorter windy path. It's just too awkward. There's too many people wandering around that you can get trapped behind. put me at half the quota and then it'll be lunch break now where am I going to find out about this baby? Yes, 
Okay. Stocks of crock, let me tell you. This is fucking fascinating. Uh, how many times does the game force you to do this? And there's no way I'm making it back in time for the next one. It's really hard to even try to practice these here because there's too many people around in the daytime to actually avoid it. Because that is the path I would like to practice the most so I could have a chance of winning the race. Well, you're always going to have that fucker cheating anyway, aren't you? Lunchtime, eh? So Nozume is leaving us. And here's another great lunchtime cutscene. Do you reckon like he joins in the banter at lunch? Hey Dio! What's up? Hey man, you got a girl? Huh? Uh, I don't really have time for stuff like that. Well, <laughs> you at least got your eye on someone, right? Mark, I'm... Dio, I don't know what you plan on getting out of life, but I'll tell you, it sure is a great thing to have yourself a woman. <laughs> Mark! Mark! You should go on a date once in a while. I know what you're getting at, but... I wouldn't want someone important to me to get involved in my problems. Dio, you're a... <laughs> but, Mark... Don't get so obsessed, Dio. Don't go acting crazy. Yeah, I know. Rio, you're a... Homosexual. Hey, Tiyoshi. Hey, Rio. So, hey, what's your girlfriend like? Oh uh, my god, what is I this? I don't really have one now. You know, I really like women that are... Intelligent as well as cute, sweet and honest. Yeah, those are good qualities. <laughs> I just know that there's someone like that out there for me somewhere. I, I don't hope you know find about her. that. Not convinced. Hey, Tiyoshi. Hey, Ryo. No, not Tiyoshi. No, I don't have one. Having a girl. You think? Oh, wait, what was the fascinating shot there? Who's this guy? Do you know oh, anything no, about my angels? What's up? You look perkier than usual today. Yeah, I'm getting used to things finally. I also got fucked last night. Is fat. I see. Man, last night, Ryu, I had a girlfriend suck my dick all night. Why is everybody talking about their girlfriends? Excuse me? What do you want? I want to ask about the mad angels. Oh no, don't just between you and me. I've been seeing I see. Gaijin? Is that what you're trying to get at? That's racist, you know. Well, she might know something, you never know. Excuse me? What is it? I'm trying to find the Mad Angels. Do you know anything about a deal of theirs? The Mad... Hmm... I have no idea. Is that oh, so? Useful. Thank you very much. I'm 
Maybe the force can look now. Well, we know the fishermen have no time for them. He's Akasa. We are. Do you know about a deal going down with the Mad Angels? Deal? What deal? Don't go getting yourself mixed up in any strange dealings. No, I'm not. Really? If you say so, just don't get involved in anything dangerous. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll be on my way. Excuse me. Yes? Have you noticed anything unusual around at the harbor lately? Are you Dio Hazuki from Alpha Trading? Yeah. Someone asked me about you. Oh Who shit. Was it? They look like a couple of thugs to me. Is that so? Okay. Hey, there's thugs asking about you, Ryu. Um, what is it? Have you seen any suspicious looking guys around at night? Uh-huh. I think I've seen some. I hear they're the mad angels. The, the mad angels? Can you tell me anything about some deal they're making? Go away now. I see. Damn. Excuse me. Yes? Have you seen any suspicious guys going in and out of the warehouses? Something like that. I hear they're the mad angels. Yeah, I guess it was them. Can you tell me anything about some deal they're making? Don't drag me into stuff like that. I see. Hey. Could have told me. Uh, sorry, but it's dangerous. Don't come near here. What if there are angels in there? Excuse me. Yes? If you know anything about the Mad Angels, please tell me. Are you Hazuki? Yes, I am. Someone's been asking me about you. Who was it? They looked like a couple of thugs to me. Is that so? Thank you. Don't you want to, like, ask more about the thugs? It looked like a um, couple of thugs to what? me. Have you seen any suspicious guys around at night? You. You're Hazuki. Yeah. Someone asked me. Who was it? They looked like a... Is that... Thank you. God, you could be a bit more thorough with your questioning, Ryu. Excuse me. Sorry. I'm in a bit of a... Hey. That sounds like something a mad angel would say for sure. Um... What? If you know anything about the... You! Yeah. Someone asked... Who was it? They looked like... Is that so... Okay. Still no real dirt. Pretty false cool. might tell me something. Do you know some anything stage. about... How the hell get love? He's got the best voice. Well, it's not looking good that we're gonna find anything out about the Mod Angels today. Um, huh? Do you know anything about the Mad Angels? Snooping around. It's date. You must stop. All right. So again, he could be in on. He's trying to pick me off the trail. But you know, maybe I should have just actually phoned up uh, Gui Zhong and had a chat with him. He might have been able to tell us. Um. Sorry, can't chat with you, kid. Sure. Well, you could bitch back at the supervisor, man. Have a spine. Excuse me. What? Have you noticed anything? Are you Dio Hazuki? Yeah. Someone asked. Who was it? They looked like a. Is that so? Okay. Well, we know thugs are after us. Um, can I help you? Do you know anything about the Mad Angels? A deal? I don't have... I see. Where is she now? Excuse me. Yes? Um... Sorry, look, I... I guess so. Back to work. 
Well, as he says, it's back to work. Warehouse number 18. Okay. Sadly, it didn't. Why is he not picking that crate up? That was kind of weird. It was making the sign, yet it wasn't doing it. Whoops. Oh well. What? He just disappeared out of existence after that crash. Harsh. That was a hard corner to pick, no matter what you do. You know, the Mad Angels, if they actually done uh, their Mad Angeling while Steel or Rio is at work, then man, he'd be stuffed. He'd never catch them. Be too busy driving around moving boxes. And a forklift to actually be able to do anything about the Mad Angels. They missed a trick. Hey, what's this? Oh no, Goro! Goro, what happened? Not Goro. I was just walking with that sailor guy. He. Hey, schoolboy! Come on! <laughs> this looks you like a chair sequence. Oh. Hey, over here! <laughs> Wait! Uh-oh. He's coming? Ha-ha! <laughs> I took the bait! Oh no. So you the, showed, eh? You guys again. Killer, man. What's your problem? Let it be you. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Yeah, that didn't go well. How much that cut so you need to rewatch? You guys again. What's your problem? Let it be you. Oh shit. Hey girls. Hey, no escape, boy. Bam. I punched him out of existence except for his leg. That's pretty sweet maneuver. I just wanted to move some crates, guys. You're gonna pay for beating up Goro. You his girlfriend. Yeah. What did you say? Best watch your back. Next time it won't be just you. Next time we'll beat what? up Goro so bad We're you won't even fuck him anymore. He's so, so ugly. Gonna get him. That's it. Oh. <coughs> well, we didn't get any clues from that, really. Discontinued threats. But they'll regret beating up Goro. I 
dare they beat up our boyfriend. Alright, well that should be six boxes. Just blink out of existence, would you, or whatever it is you fucking do? He's always jogging around here. I'm a highway star. Ah, oh, fuck, I'm the highway star now. there all the time but there we go that's a quota mat at least this Goro confidently strolling around after having the shit kicked out of him well I'll definitely not be winning the race if I drove like that. I have a feeling it's going to be like Mario Kart though, without blue shells. That if, as long as I get out in front, I should be fine for winning the race. It's just a matter of getting ahead of the packs, then they can't really crash into you anymore. Kind of same in other racing games. Basically, when you're stuck in the pack of the other racers, you got more chance of crashing into them, and they more crashing chances into you. Kind of set up in the right order. crits even though this has been the awkward path ugh if this prick wasn't here I'd be doing way better Look, fuck off here sweater man hey it's coming up on Christmas day I've just realised They're surely not going to make deal work for Christmas, are they? And again, if it's not a public holiday in Japan. Yeah. 
not bad. Ah, oh, get the fuck out of my way, fuck features. Yeah, I did, but I got second in the race last time, man, but still... Not quite first. I could have had first, but uh, the guy ran me into the corner at the end. I was doing quite well, too. I was really raging I didn't get my first place. Because I'll be honest with you, as soon as I get my trophy for the first place, I'm going to be putting no effort into the forklift racing. I'll be happy with Oh, look at this prick! You! Look, at least he had the decency to blink out of existence with that wee fucker. Wah! Wah! on me again. This is the worst person to be caught behind a jogger. Says it all well, so maybe Gauru wants to keep his hair saved. That could be why he's got an umbrella and I don't. I do like it when they kind of just wink out of existence. Like a defeated enemy, I scroll and beat him up. Or a brawler. I think I'll do the semantics of that one other time. Oh well. Finished didn't, for the day. Didn't quite. Oh. I kept his eyes closed for a long time there. Didn't quite meet the. Uh, or, I met Makuta, okay, but I didn't job. quite fill the, uh... Here's today's pay. All the squares. Thanks. You met Quota, son. So starting tomorrow, you'll get a 50 yen raise. Man, I have That'll be 500 yen per crate. Minted. Thank minted, you. guys. Keep up the good work. Yes, thank you very much. Hey, Dio. I overheard some information. Information? I heard them all whispering something about Long Ja. That is soon. Long Ja? Best I can figure, it's some mad angels black market deal. Makes sense. They've been on edge lately. Long Ja. When's it supposed to happen? Well, what's that? Longsha, black market dealings between Chinese organization and the Mad Angels. May not be easy to find out about this Longsha. Excuse me. Hello. Are you busy, Hisaka-san? I also have to work on thinking up a new menu. So I guess you could say I'm fairly busy. I see. I've got to go. I'll stop. Okay, I'll see you. Well, busy enough that I'll tell you shit. Do you have apparently. a minute? Yes. Do you know what the term Long Ja means? Long Ja? I heard some mad angels talking something about it. Maybe it's some kind of code name. Why don't you ask someone else? I see. Well, Long Ja. That sounds Chinese. I know a Chinese person. Excuse me. Excuse me. I really need to... Okay. You're not much fucking help. What about you? Um... I'm sorry. I gotta hurry up. Selfish bastards.
called. I hope this is the number. The phone number you have dialed is no longer in service. Yeah, fuck you, bitch. Six one five six four. I fit too many digits in. Dragons. Nine Don't have to do this dragons. every time. Come on. Earth. Comrades. Comrades. Warehouse number eight. Master I Chen, know. please. Excuse me, but you are. My name is Hazuki. Just a moment. What is it? Yeah. I must consult Master Chen. Arrange us a meeting. Father's not around. Well, could you meet me? I need to talk. Hmm. Tell me if you must. Probably our best bet at the moment. After all, these guys haven't been very forthcoming. Excuse Look at me, you, you baldy prick. Huh? Hey, it's that rookie. Oh, good job. Uh, what? Good job, what? Being a rookie? Oh, he's gonna be getting finders. Oh shit! Hey, Cut thing. Oh, youngin, it's you. I heard about you. Here you're after the mad angels. Sorry, girl. Yes. I know you want revenge, but... If something happened to you, how about the Hazuki tradition? But I... No buts, boy. If no one were left to carry on... Oh, what a shame that'd be. I will show you another move. Hmm? What's that move? It's called the cross charge. Just at the moment you evade, slam into your opponent's side. When used up against multiple opponents, they can all gang up on you, you know. Yeah, I've noticed. This move is perfect for times like that. Thank you very much. Alright, maybe he knows. Um, sorry, but try me. Well, he did just teach you a sweet move. Maybe that's enough. Where's Tom? Tom? Hi, Dio! I've got something to ask you. Have you heard of the Long Zha? Long Zha? The Mad Angels guys call the deal by that name. I need to find out when they're making this long. Sorry, I. Really? Tom's old night nest. Honey son. Hi, Dio. Honey son. Are you hungry? How about some munchies? Sorry. I've got something I need to take care of. Yeah. I can tell Tom's got the munchies anyway. Uh, I need to- I have an appointment. What's your name? Yo, Hazuki. I've been expecting- Sorry, I'm just skipping some of that shot as well. We're about to hit nighttime anyway, so... Ooh. Maybe this is a slightly awkward way of getting the warehouse yet. My other way seemed to be much more reliable. There we are. The other route was a bit more like plain sailing though for it. Can I ask you something? What is it? Could you translate this for me? You've already the scroll, translated. and it's in Chinese. Oh, 
Fierce tiger. Oh, now a ruler there. of the forest. The bravest of character. As tranquil as the most majestic of mountains. As swift as a bolt of lightning. As violent as an earthquake jolting the great earth. Show no mercy. With twin fangs strike and rush up Moon Mountain. <laughs> Striking fear in all, nary a soul challenge thee. It's a secret poetry. Secret? To maintain secrecy, the technique is written in poetry form. Only one who's received the master's verbal instruction can understand its meaning. Why did my father have it? No idea. But I'd assume if he had the scroll, then he received instruction from the original master. Hmm. Oh. I'm not sure what that we chose the music was for. I'd hold on to this. Perhaps someday you will meet the master who wrote this. Thanks. Sorry to bother you. I was actually hoping to ask you about Long Sha, but I. Hey. No, night time. We still don't know anything about the Long Sha. In fairness, I can't think of anybody around here who would know um, about it. What is it? I want to ask you about the Mad Angels. You mean those thug hooligans? Now it's Come the ones. to think of it, lately, I heard they're looking for someone named Hasuki. That's Got me. <laughs> Um, I want to ask you something. Sorry. Come back later, will ya? Uh, you'll not be here though, will you? Oh, I see. Oh, I see. Excuse me. <sighs> I'm in a hurry now. I gotta get a move on. Or someone else will... You're a dick. There's more to life than fishing. There's avenging fathers um, now. You talking to me? Yeah. Have you seen any strange shipments come in lately? Something like that. I hear they're the Mad Angels. I is that right? Do you know anything about the deal they are making? Don't drag me into stuff like that. Okay. Well... Well, if I were a Mad Angel, where would I be? Probably somewhere mad. Excuse me, do you have a minute? I'm really new here, so I don't quite know my way around. Try asking somewhere else, will you? I see. Bullshit. New member of the Mighty Angels. Um... Huh? Do you know when that Mad Angel deal is going to take place? How should I know? Well... It would be nice if you could have told us more than that. Other than that fight, am I really going to learn nothing else today? I was really hoping to learn a bit more about the Mad Angels. Excuse me. Excuse me. You're disrupting our work. Okay. Stay back. Alright. Wow, he's finally like lost the rag with me then, huh? Um, <laughs> do you have time? Sorry, would you ask? Fuck you. All we know is that it's called Longsha. There's no other details to go on. These guys probably don't want this kicking around here at night. Somebody's been asking about Rio, so surely somebody's bound to know. Excuse me, I have something to ask. I'm in a hurry to. Can I get you to ask someone? Oh, okay. 
I was hoping you would have answered him, Trace. Maybe he knows. Uh, got business here? Um, both the warehouses and if you don't have business... Well... Tell you what though, the search of the Mad Angels isn't so easy. We've learned nothing about the long shot. We're getting our balls soaked off us. It's really not Rio's day. Cafeteria is closed, huh? It looks like they're already closed. Well, I've no idea what we're supposed to do. Um, excuse me. Can I help you? Do you know anything about some deal the Mad Angels are making? Don't know about stuff like I see. Hey, wait a minute. Come to think of it, I did see me a couple of foreigners snooping around. Oh? They looked mighty suspicious to me. Maybe they got something to do with it. Suspicious looking foreigners? A pair? Hey, so there's a pair? Excuse me. What is it? Have you heard about some deal the Mad Angels are arranging? Well, I wouldn't know about that, you know. So you haven't seen any of them around? Nope, but I saw a couple of sailors acting kind of suspicious. The harbor is full of all kinds of sailors, don't you know? Where did you see them? <laughs> Over by the Harbor Lounge. Harbor Lounge? Well... Where's the Harbor Lounge? Um, sorry, don't this time. Damn. He's harsh. Harbor Lounge is... Oh, okay. That's the Harbor Lounge. Was I not here at the right time, maybe? Is this the next day kind of thing? It's beginning to look that way, isn't it? Excuse me. Yes? Do you know anything about- Hey! Don't talk about- You don't say. Well, she's fuck all use. I'll take this. Yeah, sure. Thank you very much. Yeah, sorry, Andre. Sure, draw a raffle ticket. Sorry, I've only just got your message about the uh, Harbor Lounge, so yeah, I guess it's not going to appear till tomorrow. Prize. Fifth prize is shit. Here's your prize. Open it up and take a look. I could have literally bought one of these fucking things. Ooh. Kid's Cage. Or Kage. He's sweet. I'll take this, please. Yeah, sure. Thank you very much. Sure. Draw a raffle ticket. Ah, uh, what have we got? No win. No prize, eh? <laughs> a voice. Uh, this, please. I didn't see any shifty yeah, people there sure. when I was Thank out there. But hey. Sometimes there's only like one event sure. a day, you know. Draw a raffle ticket. No win. 
Besides, we got a Saturn game to win, right? I'll definitely have to check to see if chocolate or crisps get you the lottery ticket. I'll take this. Could be that they have a little clicker. Sure. Thank you very much. Sure, draw a raffle ticket. God, this is maddening. No win. That's too bad. This one. Yeah, sure. Thank you very much. Sure, know draw what I'll be a raffle ticket. Shop. Fifth prize. Oh, come on. Here's your prize. Open it up and take a look. What a load of bullshit. Sweet. Poppers? Is that what they call snowmen? Here, love, do you want to chase poppers with me? I'll take this, please. Yeah, sure. Thank you very much. Sure, draw a raffle ticket. Please be the winning ticket. I won. Oh, close well, enough. Well, congratulations. Pick the one you like. Oh, winning card. Okay, this one. Here oh, I didn't go. want that. It's automatically selected that because it was about to run out of time. I don't need two copies of Hang On. Looks like they're about to close. I should well, go home. So the chips would work as well then, huh? Well, that's okay. At least I know my choices. Oh, I gotta beat her to the bus. I don't want to miss this fucking bus. Can't risk the bollock in for me, so. Yes, just in time. Well, you have to get uh, a number two uh, to win the Saturn game, Luis, or a number one to get uh, the Ghetto Blaster, which you also get to listen to at home. Although at this stage in the game, when you're automatically going between the dock at the start of the day and all, like, it doesn't really give you a lot of time to actually chill with either your Saturn or with your... Uh, I suppose if you came home early, you could play the Saturn all day. Or you could listen to the music, but it's still not an ideal situation. Tom, Funkin' out. Tom, the all. If there is any. Sure. <laughs> Pardon me. So I'm going to be looking for two suspicious sealers tomorrow, apparently. Unless this guy, you reckon he'd know anything about it. Hey man, this. Oh, she did. She liked. Draw a ticket. Draw my deck mate. I won. Yes! Oh my god, yes! Take your pick, man. Oh, it's okay, Space Harrier. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? Thanks, man. That should have been a fucking diary entry. 
Look! Our very own Spears Harrier. Are you still not excited? Hey man, this. Oh. Draw a ticket. Fucking joy of joys, guys. I'll win the Ghetto Blaster yet. Take your pick, man. Take your pick, man. FT all. Okay, this one. Oh god, yeah. I could run home the plate. Final takeoff. Thanks, man. We better get home, fucking lickety spit. Can I actually make it home in time, I wonder? Was there a homeless guy hanging out by the burger place there that somebody see? You know what, I may not try to win the Ghetto Blaster. Like, even I, in my previous playthrough this year, never won the Ghetto Blaster. But I'm very proud I won it this time. Not that there was any skill or anything, but the tenacity. You gotta give me that there. I was very tenacious. Pig-headed. I'm never making it home in time. I'm so close to making it home in time, but just not quite. Still really worried about the kitten, you know. Oh no. Ine-san will be worried. I should go home soon. You're literally just there. I could have got you home. Okay. Let's save it. I'm definitely not losing that fucking tape. Oh no! Alright, tomorrow somebody remind me and I will show you the amazing joy that can be brought. By playing your very own Sega Saturn in the 80s. No dreams! He wakes up far too easily. So apparently these guys are going to be hanging around the arcade cafeteria. But instead... We've got to get to work, right? No offense guys? But this is going to be the last thing I do today, is this race. Because it is 1am, I've got work in the morning. Good morning I'm sure everyone. you guys have got to be up to for a daily warm-up race. You all do your best now. Yeah! yeah. Well... Like always, three laps to the finish. Everybody can't skip it ready? at all, huh? Yeah! On your mark, almost time to go. But yeah, we got some progress. We've won the fucking uh, Saturn game. Fuck with that. Ready? Go! We've made real progress now. This kind of sounds like a bit of music in one of the King of the Fighters fighting games. I can't remember which one it is though. One of the butt rock tunes. I'm speaking! Look at him and his number one fucking van. Thinks he's the king of the universe. I'll show that cunt. I'll show you, you dirty fuck. Maybe I'm getting a bit too into this. Oh, you didn't shove me off that time, did you, fuck features? That's right, Mark. He's a new king in town. There's a new pope of this town. The king has returned.
Ah, oh, that was a fucking killer lap right there. Come on. You know, normally I hit racing games in first person perspective. But it's always racing forklifts, this is specialty cheese. Come on, I can do this. You can do it, put your ass into it. Forklift racing. He is racing that fucking forklift. He is racing the forklift. Better get first place. Alright. Alright, guys. First place. <laughs> Best way ever to end. Pretty damn good for a rookie. Here's your first place prize. Yo. Mark's Thanks. favorite's the name of the trophy. And I've got forklift number one. Hope you work as well as you race. Hey. Trio Hizuki. Gotcha. Today cargo between warehouses. Gotcha. First take a crate from gotcha. here over to gotcha. warehouse number eight. And unload it there. Then take a crate from warehouse number eight to warehouse number eighteen. You know where that is, right? I take this to warehouse number eight. Then I take number eight cargo to warehouse number eighteen. Yep. But careful you don't get mixed up. The oh, corner's shit. written on the map. I got it. This is a fucking nightmare. He's supposed to be able to pass this. This is the warehouse yet, then the other warehouse yet thing. Which warehouse yet? Well, I know what I'm doing. Oh, motherfucker. Ooh, let me see if I don't want to lose that there sweet, sweet trophy. Oh, um, I mustn't be able to quick save whilst I'm forklift racing. Son of a bitch. What's my quota? Ten. Well, how many kind? God damn it, guys, I really wanted to go get ready for bed. Fuck off out of existence, you prick. Sorry, it looks like all my skills gone out the window. I was too pumped. Much too pumped. And then I take something out of this. Oh, I must take one of these. Right, okay. Take this to the warehouse number 18. Fucking easy peasy, mate. Fucking wham and squeezy. Can you believe the fucking king of the forklifts? That's me, by the way. I'm the king of the forklifts. The king of forklift racing. They often called him king. Ah, uh, dear. I'm far too easily entertained by myself, apparently. He's like the god of forklift racing. Oh, you fucking bastard. I wasn't looking at the screen properly. I was trying to refresh my messages. Ah, oh, how am I even getting stuck on the wall there?
Oh shit. I'm forgetting my way. Well, it says I got a message there again, and I can't actually see the message on the YouTube page, so sorry if I've missed anything important there. I'm sure it would be easier to cut down that other way, by the way. Yeah. I'm not going to do that. Ah, that was almost smooth. This is the opposite of smooth now. I guess from being the king of forklift racing, as the song implied earlier. I got too excited. That sounds pretty horrific, the chocolate Louise. I'm sorry to hear about that. I ended up picking up some Snickers earlier of all things. I just thought that it might work as a wee pre-work chocolate bar and to like try and give me a bit of energy. I'm sadly all out of magic monkey juice so I'll never blast off the space land. they've got like currents in them, do they not? You know I hit those fuckers. Even though I like my current affairs. Well, I don't know if this counts as 8 or only as 4. By the way, I'm never making it back in time, am I? Uh, Mars ice cream I've not had in fucking ages, years. You know me, I don't really eat that much ice cream, but Mars ice creams are pretty good. Oh, I forgot to go back and get a box anyway. Lunchtime, eh? Can we get a cutscene of everybody eating lunch again? I've missed those. Look at that great sea. Let's hope everybody doesn't get intrusive about Rio not having a girlfriend again. I don't think he was taking that too well yesterday. Hey, bro! Oh! Hey, my Goro? Bro, 
Me, I'm gonna settle down and go straight. You will Gets never be straight. Gets me a real straight. job. Work hard and marry her. Marry? But she's too young. Don't you know, Ryo? Girls can get married from 16. But oh, to Goro, I see. Well, Goro, he's not so bright, but he's got a heart of gold. Yeah, but Goro. <laughs> well, bro, be seeing you around. See ya. So, everyone settling down. He seems. <laughs> That's a diary entry. Apparently, that's a diary entry, guys. Right, I am saving here. On that bombshell. Yeah, didn't it? Louise is talking about after school, and then all of a sudden, Goro's marrying a fucking 16 year old. And Ryo's left going, am I the only body in this, like, only person in this town not getting laid? Maybe they're in the cafeteria now? It's still since the 8th, so I might have to come back after the workshop. <laughs> Alright, you pricks, which one of you is Hello, the mad angel? Hey there, kid. It's Dio. Yeah, I know, I know. I call everyone you kid. Of things? Yeah, I'm catching on. That's good. Now go fuck yourself, kid. Right in the mouth. Um, right in your me. mouth, pussy. What? What? You know, it's really not a good time to talk now. A Try again time? later. That's when okay. most people talk and work. Excuse me. Yes, what is it? Ma'am? What is it? Are you hungry or something? Don't worry about money. You can eat without paying sometimes. No, it's not that. Ah, oh, fuck, I'm in the wrong shop then, Andrew. Thank you for keeping me on track. This may be a development for tomorrow though, because I can't even run in this fucking shop. I think I met punks in the tomato shop. But obviously it wasn't the right punks. Ah, uh, it might be after work that they show up. Son of a bitch. I'll take this, please. Yeah, sure. Thank you very much. Thank you by the nuts. Sure, draw a raffle ticket. Uh, these want me to get a Gato Blaster, because I've got a feeling it will be like another R plus of raffle no tickets. Way. Try again another time. Oh, our voice has changed this time. Try again another time. I'm thinking we shouldn't get the Ghetto Blaster. The Saturn game is like awesome enough, is it this not? This one. Yeah, sure. Thank you very much. Sure. Draw a raffle ticket. No win. No In fact, prize, I'm eh? definitely calling it a night for now. I did see it earlier. After all, so hopefully you have enjoyed yourselves watching. Are you really, Luis? You really want me to get one of those? <laughs> really?
Why would you do this to me, Luis? I thought we were friends. You used to be someone I could trust. No. Excuse me. <laughs> Why, yes. Andre? Why? Do you know when the Mad Angels deal will take place? Hmm. I don't have any. Are you that surprised by that, Ryu? Um. Huh? Do you know what Long Long Ja? I heard some of the Mad Angels guys talking about something like that. Long Ja? Is that well? Lately, I had something about some. I see. Excuse me. Yeah? Do you know when the Mad Angels deal will take place? Sorry, I don't have- I see. She never has a fucking idea about nothing. You know it's gonna be Tom. some serious ticket time tomorrow Hi, though if you want me to do that. I've got something to ask you. Have you heard of the Long Ja? Long Ja? The Mad Angels guys call the deal but I need to find out when they're making this Long Ja. Sorry. Really? Yeah, in you, yeah, buddy. Right, nice to meet you, man. Hi, yo. Honey, son. I see you working. How about some munchies? Sorry, maybe. Well, what tip shall I put on the part ways? What's your glyphada? Oh yeah. Hop. This is our life, so speak for yourself. Some nice jazz piano. Oh yeah! Is that like afterburner music or something? Fucking sweet bass, that's like 2011 bass going on. Ah, oh, too much rocking. It's already this late. Too much rocking in the free world. First, take the cargo to warehouse number eight. First, then suck my go dick. to warehouse number eight. Then suck my cock. Okay guys, that's enough for tonight. Thank you very much for walking. Walking? You know what I meant, watching. We've had a good time though. I had a lot of fun today, didn't we kids? However, it's 20 past 1. Uh, cheers for watching. I will catch us in the morning. Uh, well, not in the morning. I'll catch us tomorrow at some stage for more exciting Shenmue action. But, yeah, let's see what all did we get done. Well, we found out more about the Mad Angels. We've had a few encounters. We've saved Mark from getting his shit kicked in twice. We've saved Goro once. Goro is now a borderline pedophile marrying a 16 year old. And that's him out of the story, apparently. We've learned some news in Chinese. We came first in forklift racing. Like some sort of a Greek gods. Who has yet to know and his potential. then we also finally got ourselves a Saturn game. And apparently a now the next quest is for a ghetto blaster because he's hit me and everything about my life. Thanks. His courage shall determine his fate. Sadly, I can't listen to the Greek and Greek album on the ghetto blaster. That was my cheap plug. For this destiny predetermined since ancient times. Borderline, well. A pitch black night it's not unfolds like, with the morning star as He's not like a light. super pedo he is, like, you know, like Savile? I think that was like sub 16, right? Begins. Ah, shut up.
You're telling us nothing, love. Anyway, cheers, guys. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow. Some good Shenmue times for all.